Welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, we got a lot in store for you guys. A lot of fun stuff. These are some E9X M3's black individual door cards. Um, these are actually going out to a good friend of ours, Thick Whip. So uh, yeah, he needs these, I believe, to put his car back to stock. He's like, he had like a full tracked out interior. So he needs these bad boys. So we need to get it out to him on time. So yeah, we do have a few orders we need to knock out first. Some business related stuff. We have, a, I think, a GAD rear different, uh, GAD. Rear Ooh. subframe. Rear subframe. <laughs> and a couple other goodies that we need to get packaged up. They're pretty big items. So let's go ahead and just package up all those items um, and then get into the fun stuff. All right, guys, while Nor uh, packages up these orders, we have someone coming for a set of Index 12 injectors. So uh, we recently acquired a set of uh, Index 12s and somebody is on their way right now to purchase them. So we do get these in every once in a while for UN54 guys. This set should be selling here soon. So let's go ahead and get this ready for the customer. All right, guys, we got them all unpackaged. Do you like to wrap them up properly so they don't get damaged? The person is coming for a local pickup. In this case, we're gonna unwrap it so that he can see it and uh, decide if he wants to purchase it. But typically these sell pretty much a few days after we list them. And just a little tip for you guys, these Index 12s, um, they're pretty rare to find in N54 cars. Typically you'll find them in 335 ISs for the most part, and then you'll find it occasionally some other cars in some other years. But uh, the crazy thing, a little tip, for those of you guys who ever seen a blown N63 in your area, a BMW N63, it's like, I think it's a V8 twin turbo engine. If you guys ever find that engine blown in the area for like under a grand, cop it. Because they come with eight of these. Yeah. Every single N63 <laughs> come with eight of these, and these are worth at least a grand. You can recycle the engine, you can sell the engine, do whatever you want after that, but these are guaranteed on every N63, which is pretty sick. So just a little tip for you guys um, that are looking at, even if you find a blown N63 you know, car, a 550i, 650i, 750i, whatever it is, if it's pretty cheap, like 1,500 bucks, you know you're gonna make a grand right off these. So that's, true. that's pretty sick, because it come with eight of them, not they even six of them, eight, eight yeah. of them. So anyways, um, they are quick sellers. We do absolutely love selling them because uh, they're the same price as transmissions and they they cost nothing to ship. <laughs> so uh, and this one is a local pickup, which makes these even easier. So now we wait and hopefully we'll be seeing the customer soon. Alrighty, my good sir, how are you doing out here? Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm making custom boxes for these items because they're fairly large. Um, We'll show you guys the finished product because I'm not too uh, <laughs> proud of it. Just yeah, right. Not too, too proud of it just yet. Until we wrap it all up, it'll look a lot better. So I'll catch y'all when it's all wrapped up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So Nor is getting this stuff packaged up. While he's doing that, we're also going to be taking out the TPMS sensor uh, on this car. So uh, there's the actual module back here. I have a TPMS light on, on my M3. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just unplug this thing most times well you have some really thick tires i'm not gonna lie to you so most of the times if it's an e92 e90 i have a lot more space in here but typically you just pop out a screw you pull this fender liner through a little bit and then you can feel that module and just unplug it the reason why we unplug it is because you literally coated out that feature yeah i coated it out uh, typically you don't want to unplug it it's not <laughs> going to fix your problem it's not going to but yeah i had it coated out with nick we now offer that service actually coating services so if you guys saw in one of the last videos we actually now offer that uh, feature so if you guys need any coating offer that so this is part of the process though we got to unplug this i feel like the car needs got to it. be jacked up oh you got it yep Dang. that's it that's it same my first rodeo <laughs> this is probably my eighth or tenth <laughs> <laughs> fun fun <laughs> problem is is that these just don't even have tpms sensors so whoever had this car before did not have tpms you know sensors. actually never seen these before really i've never seen a car with no tpms that's actually kind of crazy yeah they're typically just the rubber ones without the tpms like we just always have the wrong ones that are either bad or mm -hmm. at least on the cars that we're flipping you know we let the uh, we let the buyers know like hey these cars throw tpms lights like they're nothing they really do though so do you want them coated out and they typically say yes so we'll just coat it out before they get it because it honestly saves them a headache and there's no lights on the dash you know so it's a win-win so theoretically now now that it was coated out we could just start up the car right so now, if it was coated out, uh, you should stop the car. There should be no lights on the dash. Okay, let's try it. There should still be a brake light. I don't know. Brake light's not going to go away for that. I know brake light's not going to go away, but uh, that one's still there. So 
Now though, there should be no uh, TPMS slate, so let's check. Oh, it went away. Would you look at that? Is it good? Yeah, it went away. That's what I'm talking about. So now I have a brake light, and I think it's because of a brake pad sensor, because my brakes are still good. I swapped out the sensors, but I think it already got ripped. So I gotta already get another one, so that kind of sucks, but yeah. One step closer on my M3. Now we're actually gonna go ahead, surprise Dia with something. So as you guys know, the M4CS is not Nor's or mine. It is Dia's car, so it is Nor's brother's car. And it finally got approved for getting plates. So we're gonna go ahead, Nor's gonna go ahead and go get that done. He's gonna get the VIN verification and all that stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna surprise Dia with his car, saying it's officially good to go. So we might prank him a little bit, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, jump into that part of the video real quick. Bro, I, we put about 250 miles on this thing already. It was good. Enjoying Not too it. shabby. It's been driven pretty well. Uh, yeah, registered. So theoretically, it did pass brake light smog. Thank the Lord. We took the papers over to the uh, registration office thinking everything was all hand in dandy and then they blocked our registration. So we, I did what every reasonable person would do, which is uh, freak out and uh, overthink it for the last couple of nights. And uh, long story short, she called us today saying, hey, they approved it. Uh, they just wanted more money, typical. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> pay them for that and uh, hopefully, hopefully get the papers. We only, all we need to do is VIN verification and then get the plates. The goal by the end of the day today is get plates on this car, get the registration on this car and get the title sent out to my brother so he'll be so, so, so happy. I'm actually gonna try to get his reaction on video as well. I I'm gonna take it back to my place and just uh, uh, pretend like I just took somebody's plates and slapped it on the car so we can drive it in the meantime. <laughs> And uh, you know, just see his reaction, and then just tell him, "Hey, man, it's actually registered. You know, the title's coming in the mail. Everything's <laughs> Gucci." He's really excited. He really wants to take this thing home. I'm gonna have him take this thing home this weekend. It's been almost a year. It <laughs> so has actually. He is excited. I'm excited for him. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thumbnail, and then let's go ahead and work on this registration for him. All right, guys, we're gonna get some sound clips for you. <laughs> Just like, uh, don't, don't full throttle. <laughs> hey, I mean, at this hey, point, you, you, you passed smog. You remember what happened last time? Well, when we full throttled it? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the F30? No, I'm talking about your first F82. Oh, oh come bro. on, bro. I had to bring it up. Come I had to bring on, it up. I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. It's a little low, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> if you guys don't know, he ended up crashing his first F82. Probably kind of messed up that I said that, so I apologize. Not too shabby. That's some pretty good brakes, too. I mean, I'm happy for him. This is a solid car. The last thing we have to worry about, honestly, is just the passenger seat buckles, like the last light we have on the dash, is that we normally do like the tug test. So, see how, like, when you kind of tug it? That means it's working. So if you do it on that one, see it makes that weird sound? Uh, see that? Hold on, let me make sure. But then tug it hard, and you see it, it locked. Does. So it doesn't mean if it just locks, it looks like something's blown inside that seat belt. That's weird. So unfortunately, we need to get that replaced, which unfortunately we have to disassemble the whole thing again all over again. That's a lot of work, honestly. So we haven't done that yet, but that's the last thing this thing needs to have zero lights on the dash, which is pretty crazy. We have to get that rebuilt at LED Solutions, so we get that done, but uh, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and drop off Jonathan and uh, he's gonna, uh, well, I'm gonna head out and uh, hopefully get this thing fully dialed in for my brother and I'll get back to you guys if that's the case. If it's not the case, we're gonna find out what the case is. We'll figure out what the case is and we'll figure out how much money they want from us, bro. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a lot. Yeah, I bet you, bro. I bet you they, they found something. They're like, M4CS with this amount of money? Something's that wrong. It's not adding up, you know what I'm saying? We'll figure it out later, but uh, good news is, car does drive like a dream. I, I, the first time honestly opening up the valves like that, I forgot these are valves. Like yeah. I had two of these cars and I forgot. Three of them actually. My wife's F4 as well. Oh, Completely true. forgot. Sounds great. It really does. 
All righty. All right, guys. Good see y'all later. Take it, take it easy, Jonathan. See you in a bit. Yeah, drive safe. So guys, the M4 is finally my brother's possession. It's finally at his house. He was able to drive it with a small back home after 11 months of being here. Yeah, that took a little too long, but he's very, very, very happy with the car and he is truly enjoying it. I'm super happy for him. The car honestly came out better than expected. So I'm super, super, super happy for him. The M4 CS build is officially complete in terms of rebuild. In terms of modifications, there will be some coming up here in the near future. Now we can actually start to focus more on the E91 M3. So we are gonna have a little bit more content coming up on this guy, a few more modifications coming up on this guy. There's always gonna be videos on this car because this is a car that's staying forever. I absolutely love this car and I'm gonna continue to modify it to make it the absolute best E91 M3 wagon out there. So that being said, still a lot more content up on that. And then also we are still trying to find the R-rate replacement. I know a lot of you guys said to get a Porsche. Um, so we are looking out for 911s, we're looking out for Caymans, we're looking out for something pretty sick. And at this point, it's whatever that pops up for a good deal, we'll kind of go with and we'll take you guys on our journey of bidding on it, picking it up and uh, showing you guys the car. So without further ado, if you guys are excited for that kind of content, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.